Cody on UK, and we are here at the I'm So Bronx open house for Bronx residents to showcase their amazing artistic skills. We'll be having music, dance, poetry, and everything in between. Come on, guys, let's check it out. Say rock, come on! Rock. Say freeze, come on! Freeze! Say rock, come on! Hosted by Bob Lee, each artist performed for audience members, and attendees were able to explore the studio. I'm tired that the word rapper is a curse word. First off, Bronx historian Lloyd Olton gave the audience an in-depth knowledge about the Bronx, but also what the next 50 years may hold. Well, it's difficult to always predict the future. Mm -hmm. It's uh, almost impossible. In fact, it is impossible. Nobody's been experienced it yet. Uh, <laughs> uh, the only thing we could talk about is trends, and even then, trends uh, could foresee only about maybe about three years into the future before it gets completely off the wall. But uh, the way I see it, since the Bronx has such a vast history, centuries long, of accepting people from all over and getting along with them and working together, uh, I can't see anything that would change that. Bringing the hot beats to the show, DJ Collective Group Uptown Vinyl Supreme shares with us how New York inspires them and what's special about the Bronx. Yeah, I feel like it just drips out of our pores. We're raised with it. It's like embedded in our DNA, so we have no choice but to play music that is inspired by New York City and our life in New York City. It's the preservation of diversity and culture. Like, you can't find that nowhere else in the city but the Bronx. And that's something that we've been fighting for, and we still have a strong hold on, which is why I love this girl so much. We even got DJ Sino and comedian Soraya Ortiz to share with us why they are so Bronx. Hey, what's up, you guys? I'm Soraya Ortiz. I'm a comedian. And I just want y'all to know I'm so Bronx, I wear Timberlands to the beach. Hey, this is Sino the DJ. I'm so Bronx because of hip hop. I'm so Bronx because of Bronx Net. Keep it locked. Especially with the Bronx, spoken word poet Shakiva Griswold wants to honor the community through her words. I always hear a lot of people talk about uh, the Bronx in a negative way, you know? Um, people always give the Bronx a bad rep, and I don't understand why. Um, so I feel like this poem especially, it was just a way for me to own our borough and give it the name and give it the respect that it deserves. I'm Cody Onyuke, reporting at the Bronx Net Studio for the Bronx.